Lake Mead, one of the largest man-made reservoirs in the United States, has long been a critical water source for millions of people. The water crisis and the decline in Lake Mead's water levels have been well documented, but recent developments have taken a surprising turn. The water levels in the reservoir are now rising rapidly, and experts are raising concerns about the implications of the future of Lake Mead and its dependent population. Welcome to Revel Technology, where cutting edge meets limitless potential in the world of innovation. In this video, we will explore the main factors behind this unexpected rise and examine what it means for the reservoir and its users. Lake Mead is situated on the Colorado River and serves as a vital water supply for over 40 million people across seven states, Arizona, California, Colorado, Nevada, New Mexico, Utah, and Wyoming. The reservoir, created by the Hoover Dam, primarily receives its water from Lake Powell and the snow melt of the Rocky Mountains that flows into the Colorado River. Lake Powell, located between Utah and Arizona, was formed as a result of the overflow from the Glen Canyon Dam. This dam not only provides a significant water supply and electricity for the southwest United States and parts of Mexico, but also supports urban areas and irrigation efforts. Similar to Lake Mead, Lake Powell experienced a decline in water levels due to high water consumption in 2022, leading to record low levels in both reservoirs. However, the months following this critical low point, Lake Mead's water level has shown signs of recovery. Several factors have contributed to this increase, including widespread storms across the southwest that brought rain and snow downstream to Lake Mead. These inflows have significantly boosted the water levels of the reservoir. Despite this rise, the overall impact remains minimal and the water levels remain precarious, still far below the ideal level of 1,200 feet. The storms that have occurred differ from snowpack, which plays a crucial role in the water supply of the region. Snowpack refers to the accumulation of snow in the mountains that feed the Colorado River. Lake Mead has been struggling with declining water levels due to a combination of drought and high demand. However, the current season has brought above-average snowfall, offering hope for the future of the reservoir. According to the U.S. Bureau of Reclamation, Lake Powell's water level is projected to improve significantly by the end of 2023. Last year, it ended at 3,524 feet, but it is expected to reach 3,573 feet above sea level by the end of this year. Lake Mead, on the other hand, is projected to end the year at approximately 1,068 feet. The melting snow flowing into Lake Powell via the Colorado River and its tributaries is predicted to be 177% of the average this year. This influx will provide a significant boost to the lake levels, which had previously reached historic lows. The levels are expected to continue rising and may peak in June, increasing the surface area by 50 feet. Additionally, authorities have released billions of gallons of water downstream through the Grand Canyon as an attempt to rebuild beaches and create new fish habitats, a long-planned experiment that could have been halted if the water levels had continued to drop. The snowpack in the Upper Colorado Basin, where the river's tributaries originate, is approximately 160% above normal. This indicates a substantial amount of water that will melt and flow downstream into the river. However, some of this water will be lost through evaporation or absorption into dry soils. Colorado and Utah have experienced above-average snowpack, with Utah even having its snowiest winter on record. The peak of the snowpack typically occurs around the first week of April, after which the snow begins to melt and flow into Lake Powell. While storms and snowpack are crucial for replenishing Lake Mead, regulations on water consumption play a significant role as well. Officials from the seven states that rely on the Colorado River and its reservoirs are currently working to reach an agreement on how to allocate the river's water supply. Six of these states have proposed a set of reductions to limit water consumption. However, California, which currently receives the highest share of water from the Colorado River, has declined to sign off on the proposal. Instead, they have submitted their own proposal for water restrictions until 2026 and questioned the legal standing of the plan put forward by other states. 
The disagreement over water allocation on the Colorado River emerged in 2022, when Lake Mead reached its lowest levels on record. At that time, Southwest states expressed their support for water cuts if necessary and pledged to protect Lake Mead from reaching a critical state known as Deadpool. However, more than six months have passed and a solid agreement has yet to be reached. With summer approaching, time is running out to establish limits on water consumption and prevent the reservoir from further decline. To avoid critically low levels in Lake Mead and Lake Powell, the states reliant on them for water must come to a solid agreement. Water consumption from Lake Mead varies throughout the year, with lower amounts drawn during the winter months when temperatures are cooler. In contrast, substantial amounts of water are consumed during the hot summer months. While there is a slight increase in Lake Mead's water level during the winter, this trend is likely to change as summer approaches and water consumption rises, causing the reservoir's level to drop again. Historical data reveals a consistent pattern of a sharp decline in the first half of the year, followed by a slight increase at the end. However, even with these minor fluctuations, the overall downward trend in the reservoir's water level is evident. Between 2000 and 2023, the water level in the American Southwest has rapidly decreased, posing a major problem for the region. The Colorado River, Lake Mead, and Lake Powell provide water for approximately 40 million people in this area. With water levels plummeting, concerns about the future have grown. While rising water levels in Lake Mead due to recent storms and weather patterns may provide short-term relief, the reservoir's dire state is unlikely to improve significantly. Despite above-average NOPAC, the impact on water levels is projected to be minimal. The U.S. Bureau of Reclamation estimates that Lake Mead's decline will continue throughout the spring and summer of this year, potentially reaching a point where it cannot flow past the Hoover Dam, with water levels as low as 895 feet. To prevent this scenario, water cuts will be necessary, and states must agree on measures to limit water consumption. Although Lake Mead has experienced a slight increase in water levels, this does not solve the underlying problem and the reservoir remains in a precarious state. As temperatures rise and water consumption increases, the reservoir will face severe challenges once again. If an agreement on water cuts can be reached before consumption levels rise, Lake Mead may end this year with higher water levels than anticipated. However, without such agreement, the decline of Lake Mead is inevitable. The recent rise in Lake Mead's water levels provides temporary respite but the reservoir's long-term future remains uncertain. Factors such as storms, snowpack, and water consumption regulations all play a role in determining the reservoir's fate. While there are signs of improvement, the overall decline in water levels over the years presents a significant problem for the American Southwest. Collaboration among the states reliant on the Colorado River is crucial to establish effective measures for sustainable water management. Without a comprehensive and unified plan, Lake Mead and its dependent population will continue to face the risk of a water crisis. How do you think the states relying on Lake Mead for water should approach the challenge of balancing water consumption and ensuring the long-term sustainability of the reservoir? Engage with us by leaving a comment, subscribe to our channel, and clicking the notification bell for regular updates. Keep watching, stay inspired, and get ready for more exciting discoveries. See you in our next episode.